All right, time's now 4.45. Let's get back over to Peyton, and there's no chance that's going to come to us. Yeah, it's not coming to the Gulf. We're very confident in that part of the forecast now. And uh, Fiona is in a great example of you don't have to have a powerful category three, four, five to get catastrophic problems. In this case, it's a cat one this morning. You could see it there. It's made a second landfall in Eastern Dominican Republic this morning, and it is still just got a fire hose of rain and moisture pushing up into Puerto Rico. So some locations I was just checking over 25 inches have rain have fallen in a few locations, and that's going to continue through today. The worst part is the movements northwest at eight miles an hour, so it's not moving fast. It is expected to stay away from the United States now to be close to the Turks and Caicos tomorrow, and the note is continuing to strengthen. We have it as a cat three approaching Bermuda by Friday morning, early Friday morning could have a major hurricane in the vicinity of Bermuda. So they had um, the hurricane a couple of weeks ago near the island. Well, they've got another major hurricane in the vicinity as well. But once again, not coming to the Gulf. The reason for that, our pattern really worked out for us. Now we've got a big ridge of high pressure, but the ridge is not extending far enough to trap Fiona under it. There's actually a trough of low pressure coming down. And remember, a weakness is what the hurricane is going to follow. And so that will pull it to the north as that trough swings down. Our weather dominated by that thing right there, and that means it is about to get hot, especially for mid-September standards and fall officially starts on Thursday. So we are through Fiona. Next name is Gaston. There's no other really immediate areas that are going to likely develop, but it's a reminder. We've still got a little ways to go through hurricane season. We're past the peak here, but September and even October is generally fairly active and sometimes October is just as active as they've been getting in middle of August. So we still got a little while longer to be vigilant, but things boy, it's been our friend so far this season and things have been a big difference uh, than what we dealt with the past couple of years.